Hey guys, it's GamersHQ, and today I'm going to be doing another video on the Sky 3DS. And this time it's going to be a, a setup a video, which is very late. So, sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, this is in response to a vid uh, comment left by Slasher RXXX07, which uh, was more than six minutes ago, I just haven't refreshed it. Anyway, the following questions are okay. Whilst I uh, want my game downloading, uh, which I'm gonna show you guys how to do in, in a second. Anyway, the Sky for your question one, the Sky 3DS, you have to always check on their website, which is sky3ds.com, and um, check if they have announced that they can uh, update or support the most recent firmware, which in this case is 9.9.0.26, and luckily they can. So uh, if you all want to update to this, there's no problem. It works perfectly fine. Including, uh, I actually would advise to update to the latest firmware for this because the Ninjax 2.0 works on 9.9.0.26 uh, EJU. And in case you didn't know what Ninjax is, it's basically uh, region free and a homebrew uh, launcher. I'll be doing another video on that completely. So, anyway, yeah, this is what the Sky 3DS looks like if you don't uh, know already. But yeah. Uh, just go on their website, sky3ds.com, go and click on download, and you want to download the latest template file, which is 20, uh, 4th of July, and also download the disk writer, uh, which is the 17th of April. Now, once you've gone ahead and downloaded that, it should be in your uh, download or wherever you extracted it to. Once uh, You're going to want to do that, and once you want to uh, get a game ready, once you've got all the downloads that you need sorted, you want to go ahead and go to uh, www.roms43.com and search any of the Pokemon games or Mario games or whatever 3DS games you want. And hopefully they have it because they don't have every single game because uh, maybe it's not been released online yet. But for this instance, uh, Pokemon X which has 606 downloads just today which released uh, which was released on uh 10 uh, October 2011 whatever yeah once you've gone ahead and done that you want to go on the download rom di uh, dlm download manager number 1 or number 2 doesn't matter uh go ahead and click on that once you've downloaded it you should uh have this it's going to be a zip file so one you want to go and extract that and decline everything because it's going to try and get you to accept uh, installing like java or not java uh, like yahoo browser tool manager all that stuff go ahead and decline everything like this so instead of clicking accept before you do anything just click decline decline and i've successfully downloaded pokemon x multi 7 open that and that's sorted go move it to desktop you want to open Disk Writer, but you're going to have... Wait, I'll just close my one because I've already got it open. You're going to want to open it as an administrator. So click Yes. Uh, click the physical drive one. And it analyzes it and it's go. It's done. Sorted. So now these are all the games I've got right now on my uh, Sky 3DS. I have got 4.6 gigs left in my 32 gig USB. Because 3DS games are uh, very big. Because they have to support the 3D function. So anyway, once you've downloaded your template file, you're going to want to go change template. And I put mine in uh, desktop. So uh, 7th of July, uh, 24th of July, my bad. Uh, going to double click it and it's there. So if you want to write a game, just click simply click write and go to wherever the 3DS uh, ROM is. I'm going to rename that. So it doesn't like, just, it's annoying. And make sure not to get rid of the .3ds. So yeah, that's Pokemon X, and we're going to open that. And it's a NAND type game. The file Pokemon X contained in invalid data. This has been replaced using the information in template.txt. Do you still wish to add another copy? And you're going to want to click yes, as it's uh, adding the game from the template data, so it runs perfectly and there's no errors or anything like that. So it says it takes one minute and 40 seconds. We're going to go ahead and let that go. So yeah, let's finish off the YouTube thing. Okay, 
Can I still access the 3DS original online features such as eShop and Miiverse? Okay. Yes, you can, but uh, what I would do is if you're on the Sky 3DS and you want to play an online game such as Pokemon, when you, if you want to trade online, you're going to want to go ahead and build a private template because the template that you download or get from the Sky 3DS is a public template and hundreds of thousands or millions of people are using it around the world and Nintendo can track that the one game is being used in more than one location and that person will eventually get banned from using online features on uh, on games not like Miiverse and stuff that should be fine I don't know about that but if you build a template file by any of your original games like me right now in my hand I've got the Sky 3DS and the Pokemon Y if I got a power saves which is I'm gonna do uh, when I get that I'm gonna put in a video or you can just YouTube it now but I'm gonna get the template data for my Pokemon Y as it's the only one of its kind with its original template data I'm gonna use that and you upload it to my Sky 3DS so it'd be impossible for me to get banned but anyway that's a whole uh, that's another video for another time but anyway this is nearly done 15 seconds to go okay let's continue the question uh, can I update the games or should there be updates available uh, you can update the games uh, there shouldn't be any problem with that but yeah just go ahead and update the games if there's an available update because you want to be able to get the latest patches there's no patch to disallow you from playing the game uh, with the Sky 3DS as it treats it as it's a, an official game cartridge so you should be fine and can I change the games via computer yes but you can't change the order they're in as you can see Pokemon X has been uh, successfully uploaded and but you cannot change the order it's been in so what you're going to want to do if you want to change the order as I put these in a specific order I put Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire at the first because those are the most played games what you want to do is click them all and go and file and back up the games I've already backed up these games and what you want to do is delete them all if you have more than however much and go ahead and put them individually however you want and for each individual game you're gonna wipe and you're gonna restore the save and it should be perfectly fine if you did it in a bulk uh, restore save there and it should have all its original content but anyway yeah thanks for watching guys I hope this has been uh, inform informative or I don't know I said that wrong didn't I yeah I hope this has been a good video for you uh, I haven't been able to do any Clash of Lords as I'm still trying to get a phone um, if anyone, if any of you want to send me a phone, that's perfectly fine. Uh, that's a little joke. Anyway, yeah. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And make sure to check out my previous videos. And yeah. Thank